Hold up, did you see that game? The Pittsburgh Steelers just pulled off a thriller against the New York Giants, and we've got all the action right here. A punt return touchdown that hadn't been seen in nearly five years, an absolutely insane deep pass from Russell Wilson, and a game ceiling interception that left Giants fans stunned. But the star of the show? 25 year old wide receiver Austin, he absolutely exploded onto the scene today, making plays that could turn him into one of the league's next big names. If you love jaw dropping plays, late game drama, and a little bit of moonball magic, you do not want to miss this breakdown. Stick around, because we're diving deep into every moment that made this game one for the ages. Hey, football fans, welcome back to the channel. If you missed today's game between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the New York Giants, you're in for a treat. What a game it was. The Steelers pulled off a thrilling 23-16 victory, with young wide receiver Austin emerging as the star of the show. If you love big plays, jaw-dropping moments, and clutch performances, you'll want to stick around for this breakdown. In today's video, we're diving deep into what made this game so special. From Austin's spectacular punt return touchdown to Russell Wilson's iconic moon ball, and the final, game ceiling interception by Beanie Bishop Jr., we've got it all covered. Plus, we'll look at how this win impacts the Steelers as they rise to the top of the AFC North, while the Giants continue to struggle at the bottom of the NFC East. So grab some snacks, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get into it. As the Steelers and Giants took the field, both teams were hungry for win, but for very different reasons. The Steelers, coming off a mixed start to their season, needed to prove they were a legitimate playoff contender. With a 4-3 record going into the game, Pittsburgh had shown flashes of brilliance but had also been inconsistent. They needed to stack wins, especially within their tough AFC North division, to stay in the hunt for the postseason. Meanwhile, the New York Giants were desperate for a win. After starting the season with some high hopes, they found themselves at the bottom of the NFC East with a 2-5 record. Their offense had been sluggish, and despite some strong defensive performances, the Giants just couldn't seem to put a complete game together. Their playoff hopes were already fading, and a loss here would make that path nearly impossible. For Pittsburgh, a victory would solidify their place in the upper tier of the AFC, but for the Giants, this was a must-win to avoid slipping into full-blown rebuild mode. And the Steelers knew they would need someone to step up in a big way. That someone? 25-year-old wide receiver Austin. A player with tons of potential but who hadn't yet fully broken out. In a game where every play counted, this was going to be his moment to shine. As the first half unfolded, it was clear that both teams were determined to make a statement on defense. The Steelers' defense was dominant, as expected, and it was on full display throughout the first two quarters. TJ Watt, one of the league's premier pass rushers, was constantly in the Giants' backfield, creating pressure and forcing quarterback Daniel Jones to rush his throws. Watt had the Giants' offensive line scrambling, and it looked like the Steelers might break through at any moment. But the Giants' defense wasn't about to be outdone. They kept the Steelers' offense in check limiting running back Najee Harris to just a handful of yards on the ground and forcing Wilson into some difficult situations. The Giants' defensive line, led by Dexter Lawrence, was strong against the run, and their secondary was doing a solid job covering Pittsburgh's receiving core. The result was a defensive battle. While both teams moved the ball effectively at times, neither could find the end zone. Instead, it was a series of field goals that kept the scoreboard ticking. By halftime, the score was deadlocked at 9-9 a rare sight in today's NFL, where high-scoring games are the norm. Russell Wilson, the Steelers' veteran quarterback, was showing his leadership throughout the first half. While he wasn't able to put together many explosive plays, he remained calm and composed, keeping the Steelers in the game. Meanwhile, the Giants' offense continued to sputter, and you could feel the tension building as neither team could break the tie. Then, in the third quarter, a moment of brilliance from Austin. The Steelers' special teams had been solid all game, but they had yet to break through. That all changed when Austin took a punt return 75 yards to the house for a touchdown. It had been almost five years since the Steelers had returned a punt for a touchdown, and this one couldn't have come at a better time. Take a look at this play. Austin catches the ball, surveys the field, and immediately bursts through a gap in the coverage. He shows off his speed, evades a couple of Giants tacklers, 
and hits the afterburners, sprinting down the sideline for the score. It was a huge momentum shift, giving the Steelers a 16-9 lead and putting the pressure squarely on the Giants. This electrifying play sent the Pittsburgh fans into a frenzy and gave the Steelers the spark they needed. It was also a reminder of why special teams' plays are so critical a single return can change the course of a game, and Austin delivered in a big way. As we moved into the fourth quarter, the Steelers held a slim 16-9 lead, but Russell Wilson wasn't about to let this game slip away. And here comes the signature play of the day the deep moon ball. It's a throw that Wilson has made his trademark throughout his career. Known for his ability to launch deep passes with perfect arc, Wilson was about to deliver another one of his iconic throws. Wilson drops back, surveys the field, and with a flick of his wrist, sends the ball sailing high into the sky. The Giants' defensive backs are in pursuit, but it's clear that this ball has Austin written all over it. As the ball comes down, Austin uses his excellent tracking skills, leaps up, and snatches it out of the air for a touchdown. This was one of those moments that just makes you stand up and cheer. The moon ball was a thing of beauty, and Austin did what he does best, making an incredible play to put his team in control. That touchdown, which put the Steelers up 23-9, was the dagger the Giants couldn't recover from. After the game, Wilson gave credit to his teammates for their effort. He explained, I try to give the guys a chance. They always do a good job of making me look halfway decent, and they have great plays. I've been definitely throwing it up to the moon for a long time, and let it come down and let them have a chance to make a great play. Well, if that wasn't the definition of a great play, I don't know what is. Austin's catch and Wilson's perfect throw were a testament to the chemistry developing between the two, and it's clear this duo could be a force to reckon with as the season progresses. Now, the Giants weren't about to roll over. They had one last shot to make this interesting, and rookie running back Tyrone Tracy Jr. gave them a glimmer of hope. The Steelers' defense had been solid all game, but Tracy Jr. broke through for a 45-yard touchdown run that closed the gap to 23-16. This was a phenomenal play by Tracy Jr. He showed vision, patience, and the ability to hit the hole with incredible speed. A nice cut and some great blocking downfield allowed him to break free and bring the Giants back into contention. With just over five minutes left on the clock, the Giants now had a real chance to tie the game, but they would need to execute perfectly. Unfortunately, their offense just couldn't capitalize. With the game on the line, the Giants marched down the field, but the Steelers' defense wasn't going to let this one slip away. On a crucial third and long, cornerback Beanie Bishop Jr. came through with the play of his life, picking off Daniel Jones' pass and effectively sealing the victory for Pittsburgh. That's the kind of play you need when the game is hanging in the balance. Bishop Jr. read the quarterback's eyes, jumped the route, and snatched the ball out of the air. It was a perfect example of high-level football IQ and timing. After the interception, the Steelers could kneel the clock and finish out the game. So, what does this win mean for both teams? For the Steelers, this victory keeps them in the thick of the AFC North race. With a 5-3 record now, they're sitting atop the division, tied with the Ravens. They'll need to keep this momentum going if they want to compete for the division crown, but this was a huge step in the right direction. The chemistry between Wilson and Austin looks promising, and the defense, as always, continues to be a force to be reckoned with. For the Giants, this loss is tough to swallow. At 2-6, their playoff hopes are looking slim. Despite some flashes of potential from Tracy Jr. and the defense, they just couldn't put it all together. It's back to the drawing board for head coach Brian Dabble and his staff, as they try to figure out how to turn this season around. So there you have it a thrilling, hard-fought battle between the Steelers and the Giants, with Pittsburgh coming out on top 23-16. Austin's punt return touchdown, Wilson's deep ball, and Bishop Jr.'s interception were the key moments in a game that will be remembered for its dramatic swings and standout performances. What did you think of the game? Was Austin's punt return the highlight for you, or did Wilson's moonball steal the show? And how do you think the Giants will bounce back from this one? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more football analysis, and ring that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.